hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your fps and get better performance in all new delta force july update this video will be covering all of your best windows as well as the game settings so make sure to stick around till the end and with all this said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here come down to personalization then head over to colors and then disable transparency effects. This will disable window surfaces appearing translucent making it a more opaque view. Then you wanna have to come down under gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off it will help you to optimize the performance of your pc by disabling the overlay service then go back to gaming head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on it will help you to optimize your pc by turning off things and applications off in the background allowing you to improve your fps right beneath that click on the graphic settings and then you wanna have to turn on optimizations for windowed games over here as it will utilize advanced features to reduce input latency Click on advanced graphic settings and then for the default high performance GPU select your native graphic card. After that you wanna have to click on the add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your Delta Force game. For me it will be right here, head over to steam apps, common and then you'll find Delta Force in here. Head over to game, Delta Force, binaries. Win64 and you'll find the Delta Force client of win64shipping.exe. You have to click on the add button and if that is already added, select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Once that is done, you guys can simply close your settings. Before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you guys to GBG Mall, which is actually a one-shop stop solution for all of your in-game currencies, in-game items, game cards and steam origin and other games cd keys i personally like windows keys over here because i do not like an activate windows watermark on my windows screen and for that you guys can buy a windows 10 or windows 11 pro cd key over here these are genuine windows cd keys which are available at a discounted rate you guys can simply click on the buy now button and during this back to school super sale use code fox25 and then click on the apply button and you can get a windows 10 pro cd key for 16 dollars only with a free windows 11 update or a Windows 11 Pro CD key which is originally $32 apply my coupon code and you can get it for $24.17 USD GVG Mall has a 4 star rating over 500 reviews and a 24 hour customer service I have left a link to GVG Mall right in the description below go check out for all of your games and gaming needs and with all that said, let's move to the video. Next step is compatibility settings and for that, go to the same download location. Or you guys can simply head over to Steam, right click on your game and then click on manage. Click on browse local files and over here head over to game, delta force, binaries, win64 and then you'll find delta force win64shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to its properties, then click on compatibility and then select disable full screen optimization. Then click on change high dpi settings and then select this option over here which is override high dpi scaling behavior. Click on ok and then apply to fix your input latency. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and network issues using LagoFast. I have left a free download link right in the description below and you guys can come and download it for your windows. Once you open up the application, you guys will find over 1000 games you choose from. Simply search for Delta Force over here and select it. Then select the nearest region to you. For me, it would be in Asia right over here would be Singapore. Click on that and then you have to choose your path. Select the server which gives you the lowest amount of ping and then click on one click boost. This will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance allowing you to get better performance and fix all of your packet loss, ping issues and input latency. The best part about LEGO Fast is the FPS boost section over here which offers you CPU and GPU optimization and you can simply flip them on to optimize your FPS as well. I have personally used LEGO Fast for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I have left a direct download link right in the description below for you guys to go and check it out. Next step is Delta Force July update FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download this from there. Once you've downloaded it, simply open it up and you'll find in seven folders. 
The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. This will help you to optimize the DVD values of your processor to improve its performance. If you guys have an AMD CPU, double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second one is Delta Force priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. For this, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third folder is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets and according to your PC you can apply them. I have 32GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. Could be different for you so you can apply it. Fourth one is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. Right click and run it as administrator. Once you have run it, head over to power plans and then click on ultimate performance over here once it is added. Make sure to click on show additional power plans to check if the ultimate performance power plan should be added over here or not. Fifth one is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency fix for which I need your keyboard specs in the comments below. I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose and the mouse latency registry which has a fixed mouse curve registry. If you guys edit it in notepad, it will help you to see the mouse sensitivity, the smooth mouse X curves and all of these settings are actually inspired by the pros so simply double click to run it. Sixth one is disabling unwanted services in which I have left all of these unwanted services on your PC which are absolutely useless and simply double click and disable every single one of them to optimize the performance of your PC to the maximum level. In case you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two as it is and disable every single one of them. And at any given point of life, you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and this is a backup to revert all of them back again. Last one is the programs folder in which I have left two very simple programs. The first one is clean temporary files, you want to have to right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all of your temporary files and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then, it is absolutely safe to do it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click and run it as administrator. And once it opens up, you have to look for your graphic card over here, select the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high and then apply. This will help you to improve the interrupt priority of your graphic card, allowing it to handle more interrupts and improving the performance of your games without overclocking it. Once that is done, simply close it and close the FPS pack. Next step is MS config and for that simply press Windows and R key together to open up run and then type in MS config over here to open this up. Once you're over here, head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here. Click on OK. Then select no GUI boot and after that click on the apply button. Then head over to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft services. Then I would recommend you guys to disable all kind of unnecessary services like browser update service, RGB and fan control service or any other service which you feel is not useful as you start up your PC. This will help you to save your processing power and your CPU resources which will help you to optimize the performance of your games. After that click on the apply button and simply close it. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here you're gonna have to select custom and only turn on these four options which are save task by thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while tracking and smooth edges of screen fonts. All four of these options will help you to keep the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling other unnecessary animations to save the performance of your PC. Once that is done, click on apply and simply close it. Next step is the best in game settings and for that I would recommend you guys to go into your game and apply these settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to your settings gear and then come down to graphics. Over here for your display monitor, select your display monitor and for the adopter, go with your native graphic card. For me, it is gonna be the RX 6600 XT. Display mode, I would highly recommend you guys to go with borderless windowed. Then you're gonna have to come down and in match frame rate cap limit, set it to unlimited and these things should be turned off. After that, scroll a bit down until you find the basic graphic settings and then for the graphic preset, go with custom, reflections go with low, texture filtering go with medium, ambient occlusion should be off, particles, distortion, scene details and scene view details should be set to low. Then for advanced graphic settings, depth of field should be turned off, global illumination quality should be set to low, shaders you guys can go with low over here or medium both of them works absolutely fine, textures go with medium or high, streaming low, shadows, shadow map, 
post processing volumetric fog and animations go with low then for the super resolution if you guys have an nvidia graphics card go with dlss or if you guys have an amd graphics card go fidelity fx super resolution over here and then for the super resolution go with balanced quality or performance all three of them works absolutely fine you need to check which one gives you the best performance for me balanced works out best for the fps so i'm gonna go and select that select apply go back and now you guys can go and play your game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because you are really close to 250,000 subscribers i trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out